How's it going? So today, I'm planning to go to the Toronto Auto Show. Um, happens once a year from February 15th to 24th. And today is February 21st. So yeah, I'm gonna go um, check it out. Uh, hopefully I can vlog it. I'm gonna try something new here uh, for the channel. Um, hopefully you guys like it. I'm gonna be hitting there now. I'm in my car and just a little bit of background information I like cars so I'm gonna go see some cars um, you know I had two weeks of midterms for college and I'm about stressed and just uh, I guess it's a good way to treat myself for 20 bucks just go look at some cars see what's new uh, the last time I went was 2010 and it's 2019 this year, so it's, it's been nine years. Um, I guess the main reason is because like I don't have that many friends that um, like cars as much as me. But uh, let's go check it out. And uh, voice crack. All right, and I'm gonna turn on my car and show. I mean, I like I like cars, man. Just forgive me, okay? And. I like hearing this, the sound of the car, you know, the exhaust. To all you, to all you car guys out there in this channel or car ladies, uh, I'm doing you a favor. So maybe if you like cars, maybe if you like, I don't know, Japanese cars. I'm just gonna show you how my car sounds, and I want to hear it for myself. You know, I just love hearing my car. You know, loud as fuck. Anyways, if you have headphones, just you know, lower it because car can be a little bit loud. Okay, so I'm just giving you a little bit of a warning. By the way, this camera is like, it's just cutting off my the part of my head. Anyways, we'll figure it out. Um. So I just made it, I uh, checked out a few cars. Uh, um, checked out a Lamborghini, but like, this guy's put it in the worst spot, like around some conference. And everyone just standing around it, you can't even take any pictures. But now I'm at Subaru. I'm a Subaru guy, you know, I car the Subaru. And they have this red BRZ. That's the car I have, but I have a 2013. This is the 2019. I'll show you in a bit. Um, I love the color. I mean, red is, red is my favorite color, but I just like the old design way better than the new design. I don't know. Just, the new design looks kind of... Uh, I don't know. Just, I don't like it. Just too busy, I guess, in the front a little bit. But... The only difference is just, I guess, the multimedia, the touch buttons and stuff. I don't have that in my car, which would have been helpful, but still, you know, it kind of makes it look busy. I don't know, it looks a, bit, it looks a bit tacked on, but it's nice to have, you know. Uh, I don't know, man, I just, I just like my, my old uh, model better. And then, of course, you have the legendary WRX STI. It's been around for like, I don't know, maybe like 20 years, but it's an amazing car. It's like the older brother to the BRZ, turbocharger, nice rims, nice calipers, thick car, nice and juicy. Thank you. 
let me tell you about the Hellcat. I just showed you right now. Uh, blue Dodge. It has some uh, interesting, interesting things about it. So first of all, it's like a thousand, thousand horsepower. It's fucking fast as fuck. Um, and you can buy like for an extra dollar when you buy the car, you can get like you know like wheels and uh, electronic computer unit that you can make tune the car with, give it extra extra horsepower just for one dollar. You get like a big ass crate with like all these extra features you can add onto the car just for one dollar, which is ridiculous. And like if you look at the lights, I'll show you in a bit. It has like it has like an intake, which means like the air can flow through the car. So they use the lights as for more air to come into the car, you know, keep the car cool and shit, whatever. It's interesting stuff, you know. It's a beast car. Hellcat, 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 beast car. And we have inside here is the intake. See, so I put my hand inside. That's where more air comes in from. Look how big the intake is. It's bigger than my hand. So this is what a less than hundred thousand dollar car, that thousand horsepower looks like. Simple, but you don't need much to know, you know, to uh, go fast as fuck, boy. Look at this Nissan kicks. It's a funny name. Ow! Oh my god, just kick me. What the fuck? Okay, I'm, I'm gonna step away from this car. I don't know what the fuck happened. Just kick the shit out of me. I guess that's why it's called kicks. <laughs> so Nissan made a Leaf. A Leaf is like a freaking hybrid vehicle or electric vehicle I'm not sure but like they made it into a Nismo which is like a performance package but for more speed I just find it ridiculous that these guys made a Nismo out of an electric vehicle that's like just for that's a, that's a car that, that, it's a car that people buy for economy you know that's crazy it's about to look like a GTR soon look at all this shit look at the right hand drive too Look at the wheel. I wish I can zoom in on this, but I can't. But yeah, this looks mean, to be honest. The back looks kind of weird, but the front looks pretty sick. It's a Leaf, man. A Leaf. A hybrid vehicle. Electric vehicle. Souped up. Now, this is a car I need for Canada. And Toronto's weather. All the snow, all the ice. I can just run over people, you know, their cars. Like a monster truck. It'll be a fun time. The legendary GTR. One of the thickest cars of them all. Look at those dual exhausts, quad tips. It's just beautiful. But it'll never, it'll, it'll never be the all the 1990s GTRs, you know, the R32, R33, R31. It's fantastic. Mitsubishi, why would you make an Eclipse crossover? Should have just left it as a two-door coupe. Why? Why did you do this? Meanwhile, let me show you this concept car. Pretty hectic car. Okay, so how did this man transform? But the car's still there. Uh, what? Guys, help me. Help. This is what happens when Kia makes a sport car. It's called the Stinger. And I gotta say, I've been following this car for a bit and it's uh. A fucking beast. Kia, you, you did a good job, man. You did a good job. Show the inside in a bit, too. I'm liking this Tinger, man. It looks good inside. The leather seats. Almost 400 horsepower for a Kia. That's pretty sick. Alright, so I just finished with all the. Asian cars, the Japanese, the Korean, all the Asian cars. I just finished on them. I'm gonna go upstairs to the more luxurious cars, European, and more more Japanese cars, but more luxurious, you know, like Acura. I'll see you guys in a bit.
Sitting inside the M2 BMW. Manual to uh, goddamn. One day I want to have one one M car. One day. All right, here it is, the Jaguar F-Type. My goal is to get this car one day. The sound of the car is amazing. It looks fucking sick. Can't wait to get inside. Look at the back lights. Look at the back lights. Look at the back lights all over now. All those rovers are on right there. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Jaguar Project 8. Fucking beast. Fucking beast. Alright guys, so that was the video, so I would, have, I would have done more, but there's just way too many cars, way too many levels, so this video's gonna probably be like an hour long, I don't even know who from our subscribers like these videos, and this was really essentially just a way to like try out this camera, um, I just realized I've been looking at the screen for the whole time and not at the camera, I'll try that more, and yeah, we just want to try out this new um, camera we got from DJI it's called the Osmo Pocket and I hope you guys can hear me with all these strains and shit but yeah that, that was it and um, I hope you guys enjoyed it I hope you guys uh, forgive me for my shitty recording skills it'll get better once we figure out what we, what we want to do with these vlogs um, but leave a comment of, of how this video was what you guys like to see what, what can be approved uh, don't be shy you know I can take it I can take it. Psych jokes on you, I'm not done yet. Because I have uh, an important question in terms of the channel. Do you guys like gaming? I mean, I know we have males and females on this channel, and gaming is something that I like to do. I've done it before, uh, a few years back, I had my own channel, and I like to I like to put some videos on there, you know. But if, if that's something that you guys would appreciate, then it's something I can work on. I can I can deliver to you guys maybe once a week, or depending on how many of you like it. I don't know. It's just it's hard to gauge right now. Um, but it's just a question I'm gonna put out there, and hopefully if this vlog goes up, it's not too shit because of my shitty skills. Then maybe you can answer that question. Um, but yeah, let me know. And yeah, interesting fact. I, I think I might have sold like three Osmos today. Because while people were watching me record, they just kept coming up to me and they're like, Oh, what is that? Oh, that's pretty cool, man. Oh, where did you get that from? How much did it cost? Did they shoot in 4K? Did they shoot 60 frames per second? 
and I just I was like an advocate for these um, DJI. So DJI, you know, partnership sponsor. We out here, you know. I sold you three guys. I uh, sold you guys three more units, potential units. But yeah, I just wanted to let, let you guys know that I found it pretty funny that I was recording this and I was like the only one using this. It's, I don't think it's pretty popular yet, but it's an interesting device, and you'll see how good it is based on the video if it gets uploaded. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and see you next time. Peace out. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing with this.